Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. Over the Thanksgiving holiday, I posted this family picture of us all wearing coordinating buffalo check little outfits. Cause when your kids are young, you can totally dictate what they can wear. And if you guys noticed, I was wearing a raglan shirt with some cute little buffalo check Christmas trees. And no, I did not buy that at a boutique. As a matter of fact, I made it myself. And while I am no Instagram model, I am here modeling it for you guys because I want y'all to see how cute this thing is. And I'm going to show you guys how to make one just like it for you for under $10. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a raglan shirt. I purchased this at Michael's. It's $7.99 original price, but I use my 40% off coupon. Now they do have t-shirts that are less and you can buy those if you want to instead of a raglan shirt. Next thing you're gonna need are these cute little iron-on fabric sheets. You can find these in your holiday section at Walmart and they're only $6. They're gonna be in an end cap along with all of their holiday fabric. Next, you're just gonna go online and search for Christmas tree silhouette. Select images on the tab above and then scroll through to any trees that you like. I would suggest picking a simple silhouette that way it's easier to cut. And then print them out on your computer. Then you wanna take your iron-on sheets out of the packaging and then just spread them out on your table. Now these are six square sheets. It doesn't look like a lot of fabric, but it actually is and I'll show you in just a second. Now I cut my trees in three different sizes from five and a quarter inches tall to four and a quarter inches. Now, as you can see here, you can easily fit four of these trees onto one of those sheets. So then I needed to figure out the placement of the trees. I knew I wanted the tallest one in the center, then have two of the medium ones on either side, and then one of the smallest size on either end. So then when I decided how many of each size I needed, I took my pom-pom gold pen and started to trace them. Now you need to make sure to trace them on the back side of the iron-on sheet. And then you take some good old-fashioned scissors and cut them out. Of course, if you had a cutting machine, it's perfectly fine, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys that this can be done simply by cutting it with a pair of scissors. All right, it's time to get domestic and iron these babies on. So I laid down my t-shirt and I made sure to have something in between. I had this wooden plaque that I wasn't using in my craft room, so it was perfect for it. And I made sure to center it. I had an idea of what I wanted already, so I began to place them on the shirt. I kept the colors the same on either side to keep it symmetrical, but I played with the placement of the trees. Some were behind and some were in front. Of course, the final pattern is up to your liking. And this is the final pattern I decided on. So I apologize for my arm being in the way, I had no idea. Now as you can see, I removed all of them, but the three in the middle. Now since I was staggering them, some were on top and some were underneath, I had to do it this way. I could not do just one at a time because of the way I was placing them, some of the trees actually had to be adhered onto each other. Now as you can see, I am using a thin sheet of fabric in order to do this and this is per the instructions. Also, you have to have your settings on your iron at the cotton setting. Then once I was done with the two on the center, I did the ones on either side. So when you're done adhering all of them onto the shirt, you wanna flip it inside out and iron from underneath. Then in order to make sure that everything adhered properly, I went ahead, put it back right side out again and ironed it one more time. And that's all there is to it. So you too can pose like an Instagram model just in time for the holidays. <laughs> but for real, this shirt was so easy to make and it was under $10 because I didn't even use half of those iron-on sheets. So I can do so many other projects with these. Oh wait, here's an even more serious pose. You guys, I am laughing at this because this was so awkward for me to shoot. But for real, let me know what you guys thought and 
If you have any ideas of what else I can use these on, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to get more inexpensive DIYs like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios.